Hi guys, it's Anne here and today's video is my monthly buys and buys video. So the things that I bought or brought into my collection and the things that I'm going to say goodbye to. So my empties, declutters, that kind of thing. So let's just get started. So for the month of May, I didn't buy anything in store and I only placed one order from the Sephora VIB sale. I wasn't going to buy anything, wasn't going to buy anything, and finally on the last day, on May 1st, I like caved. Um, I didn't get this order though until, I want to say late last week, so it took like four weeks, which, you know, it's fine. Like, the first real problem, me, was like, oh, it's never going to ship, it's never going to ship, and then it's like, oh, it's here now. So, I have been a, an online orderer for quite some time now, and... I feel like we've been getting conditioned now to receiving orders very quickly. I also now live like downtown Toronto, so I feel like I get orders even faster where I am for some reason. And yeah, like I'm, I'm very spoiled. Like I usually get orders, sometimes I get them like 24 hours later from Sephora. Like I did it for a while. I haven't had that for a long time now that Sephora online orders have become more popular over time. But the main thing in the order, the big thing, <laughs> Everything that's out is mini or small um, was the Vizier Petite Pro palette. This is Petite Pro 2. Um, it is a little annoying that they don't have shade names on the package, so I have the box here. This is this is what the box looks like, the outer box. It's very pretty. And there's shade names on the back, so this is what it looks like. It's it's really small. Like I have tiny hands. <laughs> it's like size of my palm. Um, I have been eyeing this palette for a long, long time though, and like I've even swatched it in store many months ago. Obviously, um, I want to say these went on sale this time last year, and I ended up not buying it. Or at least it feels like summertime, and I ended up not buying it. So this this has been a long time coming for me to buy this and it's just it's very spring it's very me i love how there's like a pink half and then like more of a purpley nude half um i've already worn this about three or four times since i bought it and yeah i really enjoy it i'll i'll do some swatches as well and i'll insert a picture of those swatches so you can see what they look like but yeah like it's a tiny little palette it's perfect for travel like this is a great scheme for me for travel um, it actually is a really nice mirror like for a small mirror it's good quality mirror yeah so I'll put the price on the screen everything I bought obviously was in the VIB sale and then this particular product was also on sale on top of that so this is the, the product I got the best deal on the second item I got was this Dallas mini blush I have slight regrets getting this. I don't know why I did this. Does anybody else do this? I had had, I had had the, the Jouer mini blush duo in my cart for a long, long time. And for some reason I was going through the mini section. And I was like, oh, there's a Dallas mini. So I took the Jouer blushes out and I put this in and, and I bought this. Like, again, it was a very like spontaneous, I'm just going to order it. And then then I started reading the comments and it was like, this isn't the same as the original Dallas. And then it even says on the front of the package, it says new shade. I don't know if you can see that there. The little little gold star says new shade. So the other thing too, so there's a little teeny tiny mirror in this, which is it's a very good mirror, but it's very bizarre. Um, it comes with actually a little a brush, which is a nice brush. The box packaging for the mini, while cute, is totally impractical. Um, yeah. It's, it's really hard to get in here and swatch, so I'll swatch it for you. The reason why I was a little disappointed was because I've heard people talk about this like for years and years and years, saying it's like super good, it's their favorite color. It looks, from what I remember of people talking about this, this was kind of like a, a bronzy blush, um, and I think it was more cooler toned. This is what it looks like now. It's pretty warm toned, and it's much more orange than I expected. Um, yeah, so I'm not too thrilled. I mean, it's fine. It's a nice color. I wore it the other day. It wore it in a video. Um, didn't really like how it looked at first and I kind of had to blend it out while I um, took a break from filming and then try and fix it. Um, so I definitely will have to play with it a bit more because I think it's one that can look, can almost look muddy and patchy. Again, it might be my skin tone. I have a very cool skin tone. Um, and right now I'm very pale. I haven't done any self tanning at all. and I basically don't go outside. I barely go outside anyway. Um, I kind of limit my outside to like early morning hours, so I don't get a lot of sun. Anyway, that's that. So I did order it. Hindsight 
It's 2020 and I kind of wish I didn't order it. The last item I actually purposely purchased was the Milk Hydro Primer, so or Hydro Grip Primer. So again, this is one that I've had my eye on a few times. I've only used this maybe like twice and you can see how much product I've already used. Like I'm gonna fly through this, I think. Um, it definitely has tack to it. Uh, when you put it on your face, you can definitely feel the tack. I haven't, <laughs> it's probably not the best timing to try this out because it's not like I'm really going anywhere or doing anything very exciting. So I can't really judge yet if it's actually like holding onto the foundation. I might try and do like a, a two-sided test and I might do it like maybe on a day that I go for a run or something and, and see if if it sort of holds on to not even just the foundation but like the blush and the bronzer um be interesting to see so yeah I, I got the mini I'm kind of glad I got the mini though because I just wanted to try this I'm not sure I'm not sure if I would buy this in the full size we'll see though again I've only used it like twice and then I did get a 100 point perk. This is the Guerlain Lore Radiance um, Concentrate with Pure Gold. I think this is considered a primer. Um, this was the 100 point perk. I think it's kind of funny that I got two uh, primers and I'm working on two primers in my project pan. I'm like, it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna be at a primer. I better get more. I have so many primers. <laughs> but anyway, I did get this. Again, I've only used this maybe once or twice. You can see like, I feel like I've gone through a lot of product and I've only used this once or twice. It was nice. It feels really nice on. Um, again, I don't know if it's worth it. I think this stuff is stupid expensive, but, and again, I don't know what it did for, I mean, my foundation definitely went on very nice when I used it. I'm not using either of these today. And it felt really nice when it went on. I don't know if it really does anything for longevity, but it definitely, like it felt nice when it went on. My foundation looked really nice when it went over it. It's like, why? Why? I don't really want to like you, but again, only used it a couple times, but it was, it, it was a very enjoyable experience. It was a very nice primer to use. So let's talk about totals. I brought four items into my collection. I spent a total of $67.80 for the month of May. So technically in my budget of $125, I still had $57.20 left that I could have spent this month, but I just didn't. And I overall, so at this point in the year, I have a budget of $625 that I could have spent and I have spent $527.27. So I still have a bit of room. I have about $97 worth of flex in my budget, which is intentional. My birthday month is July. I am 40 in July. I know I want to buy a couple of things that are probably going to be expensive. Like I want to buy something that I feel that kind of spoils me a little bit. Um, I know that's maybe selfish, but I don't care. I'm 40. Um, I haven't decided what that is yet. It, again, it may only be one item or two items. Um, I'm definitely thinking of lipstick, which I know I don't need, um, but we'll see. And maybe maybe eyeshadow, I'm not sure yet. Um, also thinking foundation, like there's some really nice high-end foundations that I've always wanted to try. Um, thinking like of the Giorgio Armani one. But anyway, that's my buy section. I did want to talk about a couple things that I bought that are not makeup. So if you want to move on from this and go to my empties, there's a timestamp down below. I also have the timestamps in the description below. But I just want to talk about a few things that I, I purchased. So number one is, if you've noticed on my wrist, I have the Fitbit Charge 4. Yes, I have really stupid tiny wrists. I actually can't put it on the tightest. I have it on the second tightest thing, um, but it's still kind of, it's actually kind of tight. I just have a weird shaped wrist, I think, because there's like space on the side, but it's tight this way. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I've only had it for about a week now. I am glad that I bought it because it is helping. So I've been trying to get back into running. Um, I was working out like every other day when, when all this crap started. And then I feel like when work got really crazy busy, I sort of laid off of that a little bit. I had, I had a weekend where I just felt overwhelmed and I finally was like, you know what, I need to be kinder to myself and maybe take a break. And I took a break from working out for about, a, I'd say about six days. I didn't really do anything. Um, and I was like, wow, I'm super lazy. Like I feel terrible. I took too long of a break. So I'm getting back into it. Um, I've already done my first run with this. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I've purchased this. It feels pretty much the same as the, I had the Charge 2 before this, um, which just died on me. Um, it died on March 14th, so I went over two months without one of these, and 
I just like having it. I like being able to monitor uh, my sleep. I'm monitoring my water. I'm monitoring my steps. Um, I'm starting to monitor my food because again, something that I did really well at the beginning of all of this, I felt like I was eating actually really healthy because I was really trying to be conscious of I need to stay healthy because I don't want to get sick and if I get sick I need to at least be healthy so that I can fight it um, and then again like I said things things kind of went sideways over the last few weeks and I just kind of I don't want to say broke but I just kind of like went easy on myself I was not too concerned about what I was eating I was just eating whatever I felt like eating um, some days <laughs> backfired on me anyway so yeah, so I'm really glad I purchased this. It cost um, $199, so it's pretty pricey, um, but it's still like half the price of an Apple Watch. And the Apple Watch, like, the reason why I went with the Fitbit Charge over the Apple Watch is the Fitbit Charge is really a fitness tracker, and that's what I really wanted. I didn't want just a smartwatch. I don't really care about getting messages and like listening to music, although I think this hooks up to Spotify too, but I really just wanted a, a fitness tracker, so that's why I got this. I also placed an order with Hudson's Bay. So Hudson's Bay is like a big department store in Canada. I don't, I don't know if they've ever opened in any stores in the states. Anybody in the states? If it ever opened in the states, it probably would have been like Ohio or Michigan. But anyway, they had some things on sale. So I bought a few clothing items. I bought well three clothing items, and they're all Under Armour. It was not intentionally all Under Armour, but I was looking at the fitness section because, like I said, I've been running. And the main thing I wanted to get was um, leggings. So these are a pair of leggings. Everything I bought was extra small. I kind of regret, like, this is where sizing just throws me. These are like really narrow. Like, I, I don't know. At least they will hold everything in. But the reason why I want to get a pair, another pair of leggings, um, I do have a lot of leggings, but not very many of them have. I need the little pocket, because most of the time I wear my leggings in the gym, so it doesn't really matter. And I put my key, so the only thing I carry with me in the gym is my key, and I usually put that in my sports bra. Um, is that weird? I don't know. So now that I'm running outside, I need somewhere to put my keys. And then these ones have like the little pocket on the side. I have not tried this, but I think you can put your phone in there. I don't have any other leggings that have that, so. We'll see how that goes. And I just kind of liked these. They were, they look a little bit more blue. They looked more gray online. Um, they're just a little bit of a different color. I hope they don't look, you know, certain grays can look like when you get really sweaty, they look kind of gross. Um, hopefully these don't look like that. I also bought just a plain t-shirt. Um, this is just for like hanging out. Again, extra small. The only thing that like, with me with t-shirts, I find I like v-necks. I want more v-necks. But my issue is because I'm so short that the v-neck is always so low and it's like but I don't want the crew neck because the crew neck is so high it's like why can't why can't I get a v-neck that's like small v-neck like mini v-neck um because yeah I thought like in the pictures this looked shorter but then now that I'm looking at it in person I'm like ah the v is probably still gonna be lower than I intended although this doesn't look as bad as some other I have some v-necks from old navy and the, the v is way too low um, and I have a shirt that's a v-neck from American American Eagle Outfitters and that one's really too low like I have to wear a tank top underneath it because it's so low and then the third uh, clothing item that I'm super excited about is this Under Armour sweater it's got this nice little like detail along the sleeves um, it's like a microfiber on the inside so I bought another I bought a sweater just like this from Under Armour or from Winners or Marshalls and it was an Under Armour sweater, sweater. and I <laughs> wear it so much that it's like starting to like wear. Um, I've worn it in a lot of videos. The green sweater, the dark green sweater that I wear in a lot of videos. I've been looking at, since I bought that, I've literally looked at an Armour's website like every few months to see if they have more sweaters like that, but it's hard to tell online. And I was like, I don't think this is what the same material, I don't think it's the same thing. And then I saw this one when I was looking through like the fitness stuff and I was like, oh, so this looks like exactly what I have. It's not the exact same in terms of like this has a little zip on it. Um, but it is like the fleece lined, so it's like super soft on the outside, and then it's like that weird, um, it's almost like legging material on the outside, and that's what my other sweater felt like too. My other sweater, again, because I've washed it so much, feels a little different now. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, I have like so many hoodies now, but I'm super excited for this one because this is like brand new, and I, I, like I've been wearing the hoodies I have, I have about three that I wear constantly now and like they're all showing it. They're all showing that I wear them all the time. And then the last thing I bought that was really what spurred me to go on the Hudson's Bay site was 
this bedding set. So, sorry, it's kind of reflected there. This is a Ted Baker um, duvet cover and pillows. And I have been looking at this for years. So the Hudson's Bay in Toronto at the mall at the Eaton Center is the, the bedding section is now, I think it hasn't been downstairs for a while. It's been downstairs for about a year now. And at least if you walk through the path, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and where it is. And I constantly would go in and look at these, the, specifically the Ted Baker ones, because I love birds. And I love, like, the Ted Baker stuff all has birds on it. It was a while ago where I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. Like, it's they cost, like, $300, so I'm like, I'm just going to buy it. And then I decided not to, um, specifically because my last foster, uh, my foster cat, well, she was young. She was kind of stinky. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with her. She was a bit weird. Um... To be honest, she didn't really clean herself a whole lot. Um, she was she was a strange bird. So when I had her, I was like, you know what? I'm not I'm not replacing any of my furniture right now. I'm not you know. I knew I wanted to do my bedding, but I was like, no, I'm gonna wait until until I don't have the foster anymore. And then again, something I don't know what it was, but something's like, you know what? I really should just buy that bedding now. It's been like a few months since I've had the foster. I don't have any fosters right now. I have been trying to find a dog. It's really hard right now. Um, a lot of the adoption centers were closed. Now they're open, but because they have such a backlog and there's not a lot of senior, so I've been looking at mostly senior dogs. Um, there's a lot of breeders that have puppies, but that's not really what I was looking for. Um, so anyway, I have no animals right now. And so I bought that egg. <laughs> um, I'll show a picture. This is what it looks like on the back. Hopefully, can you see that? Maybe I'll put a picture, a better picture. Maybe I'll take a picture then and put, put it online so you can see um, what it is. So I'm super excited to put this on the bed and it's really heavy. Um, but yeah, it's like it looks like an interesting material. Like it's got a bit of texture to it and it's got hummingbirds on it. So if you didn't know, I actually have a tattoo and the tattoo is a hummingbird. So anyway, super excited about that. And so the thing that I was super excited about was all this stuff was on sale. So this was marked down to about $171. So I think that was like about 40% off. So I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time to buy the new bedding. Oh, cause that segue into the extra things that I decided to buy. This video is probably gonna be way too long. But anyway, we were gonna talk about my empties. So the empties are pretty, there's a, few, a fair number of things here, but they're all pretty small. So let's start with skincare. I don't think I have any hair care. Nope, and then we'll do makeup. So the first thing I have is these little eye patches. Um, well, you can't see them, there's no eye patches in here. I'll put a picture of them on the screen. I can't remember if I talked about these in my last video or not, but they're eye patches that look like little cucumbers, like cut out cucumbers. Um, and I have them in my fridge and they've been there for ages. And I wasn't using them because you have to like put it on your eye and I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. So then I discovered, well, I don't know, not discovered, but realized, why don't I just cut them in half? So they come obviously with two eye patches, so I just take one, cut it in half, and then put the half under my eyes. And then I get like twice as many eye patches now. They're not great, they're just like, they're just like sheet mask material, so they're very thin. Um, but it's a nice like moisturizing stab, like the, the serum in here is pretty nice. They're refreshing because I keep them in the fridge. Um, I just want to finish them up. So at some point you'll see the box when I finish the last one. I think there's like three or four left. This is Sad Pan. Um, this is a super peptide serum from Good Molecule. So this is the second bottle of this that I finished. I just really like this. I think it helps my skin. It smooths it out. It smells nice. It feels nice. Um, I don't know if it does a whole lot. Like it's not probably super transformative, but I think it just is like that, that extra zhuzh that just really helps my skin. At least I feel like in the last year, my skin has been a lot better since using this. So I haven't repurchased this. I have a cart sitting at, in Beautylish. Um, I just haven't pulled the trigger in terms of buying something. They had a sale, but then it was just like stuff that was on sale, but nothing that I really wanted or needed. Um, so I just refrain from buying anything. I don't know, I, I haven't decided yet when I'll place the order, maybe in June. I know it's gonna take a while, because like, if you look on their website, it's like, if I place the order in May, it's gonna be like end of June by the time I get it. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I definitely will repurchase this. Again, like I said, this is the second bottle I've repurchased. I do really like this product. And it's, it's pretty affordable, like it's not very expensive, so it's nice. 
I've talked about these a million times. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. This is just the regular one. Uh, it comes in two sets, the exfoliating and smooth, and then the anti-aging neutralizer. So this is one of those things that I wish I, I should use these a bit more. I should buy the bigger set and use them a bit more because I haven't used one of these in a really long time and I used it and like literally for like two or three days after I used it, I was like, man, my skin looks so good. Every day in the morning, I'd wash my face and I'm like, man, my skin looks good. Um, and it's this. Every time I use this, it makes my skin, I feel like it helps if I have dry spots, it helps clear those out. If I have some like rough patches, it clears them out. I feel like it even helps with the redness. So a lot of my issues sometimes is I just like get really blotchy and red. And I feel like this definitely helps with that as well in a weird way. I'm not sure why, but it does. So this is the Milk Makeup. I think it's called Cooling Stick. I don't really know. Cooling, cooling water. I hated this. <laughs> Um, I actually just watched a video of Rebecca from Panning and stuff and she loved this. She's like, I, she, she's using this in one of her panning projects and she's like, it's so moisturizing and it feels nice. For me, it doesn't. It feels so, I, I think the issue is, is A, I'm not very warm. I feel like I don't, it felt like it tugged on my eyes. I wasn't getting, like she's going through that product. I used this for like a year. <laughs> Um, and she's gone through like half of hers already in like a month and a half or so. And I think the issue is like, I'm not very warm. My apartment is not very warm. So I don't get any cooling effect because it's like the air is not warm. Um, and I think that's the issue. I, th I remember using this last summer when it was really hot and I was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> now I can kind of see like it melted really easily. It felt a bit cool. But other than that, it just... No, thank you. Um, yeah, the biggest issue for me is it tugs too much. Um, it tugs under my eyes too much, and we all know my under eye is a bad situation, so we don't want to make it worse. I have four different facial moisturizers here, little small ones. Um, so we'll talk about all of them very quickly. The first one is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This came in a kit. Um, I've used this before. I I would purchase this again. I just really like this. It's a really nice moisturizer. It's kind of like a no fail. Um, feels nice. It's like a middle of the road. Feels nice, absorbs, my skin likes it. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. Probably again, like if I get it, it's gonna be in a kit. I don't know if I'd ever purchase the full size. This was a little La Roche uh, Posay Tolerine Sensitive Creme. It, it was fine. Like it didn't, I bet you this stuff's expensive and I don't really care for it. Like I didn't not like it. But I didn't love it. Um, so yeah, no thank you. These two I want to talk about together because they look like they're the same product, but they're not. Um, actually, I still have some product left in this one, so but I wanted to include it because it'll be done um, by the time this video goes up, and I wanted to talk about these together. So this one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. And then this one is the Marcel Hydra Active 24 Hour Day and Night Moisturizing Gel Cream. So <laughs> My theory is Marcel has developed a product since this one came out to kind of like compete with it. I think I've used this before and I didn't like it. And yeah, I don't like it. It wasn't until I started using it, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used this before and I don't like it. So the issue I have with this is two things. It The, the biggest issue is the fragrance. I am so, Neutrogena, what are you doing? The fragrance of this is so intense because it's like a gel, light, it's supposed to be like Hydro Boost, a hyaluronic acid, light moisturizing. You would expect it wouldn't really have much of a scent. If it did, it would be really light. No, the scent is so intense on this. That's like for me, a number one put off. I don't want my skincare to have, I don't mind a light scent, but an intense scent, no thank you. And then I find this is like not the right texture. Like it's a little wet. Like it doesn't absorb in as quickly as I want it to. So the Marcel Hydro Active is everything that I want this to be, or that I expected this to be. Um, it's got a nice light, like it looks exactly the same. Like I said, it's, um, I have a little bit of product here. So let's just put it on the back of my hand. Hopefully you can see it. Anyway, it's right there. <laughs> there it is, right there. And it doesn't really have a scent. It is nice and light. It absorbs in really quickly. It's like, oh, Marcel, you got it right. And Neutrogena, you did not. So. If you've tried the Neutrogena Hydro Boost and you don't like it, but you like the concept of it, I suggest taking a look at the Marcel Hydra Active because I feel like, like again, this is what I wanted this to be. So there's that. A couple of mascaras that I just 
Again, need to let go. I've had these for a long time. You're probably gonna see this for the next couple of months, like one or two mascaras coming out because I had a ton open over last year and I just am trying to use them up now. So the first one is the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise in Waterproof. I don't really like the waterproof version. Um, I'm wearing it today. It looks okay. It's a bitch to get off. Um, and it just, if you've used the Volume Paradise, the regular, you know, the Lash Paradise, you know it's pretty thick, pretty goopy. Um, yeah, like it's, it's very, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's a very dry type formula, um, so it makes it very like sticky. Not goopy, more sticky. Um, and so like I like it because it makes your lashes look like extra chunky, um, which is a look I like sometimes. But this is like that times four. <laughs> So it's just a little too much. When I first used it, it wasn't so bad, but like this dries out, like these all dry out really, really quickly. And I feel like the waterproof is again, just as bad as the regular for that. And then this is a little Smashbox super fan. Um, this would have come in some sort of set or maybe it was a point perk or something like that. Again, I'm at the point where I'm kind of like doing this with it. Like it definitely doesn't have, it has an interesting little wand. It's like a long pointy wand, which I actually kind of like. I wish. I like the width of this. I wish it was a little bit shorter, maybe. But yeah, so just it's time. It's time to say goodbye. And then I have two items here. I'm not going to get too much into these because you're going to see these in my project pan, which will go up before this video. Um, the first one is the Bite um, Lip Crayon in Glacé, and then this is the Ordinary Foundation. Um, it's the Serum Foundation in 1.2N. I wouldn't purchase either of these. I maybe would purchase these again. Not this color, though. Um, Again, I'm not 100% sure though. I just feel like it's not quite, I don't love it. But again, they're, they've reformulated or bite, I don't know if they've reformulated these yet, but they're gonna reformulate these. Like Bite's been reformulating everything. So perhaps I would look at these, but in a different shade. And I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. Again, would have talked about this in my project pan. I just don't like the texture. It's very watery. And if you have any texture on your skin or any dry, this like emphasizes it sticks to all that. It sits in all the little crevices. If you have fairly smooth skin and you just want light coverage, like this will last you forever. <laughs> I feel like this went on and on and on. This is the foundation that doesn't end. It goes on and on, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just, for me, I need something. So an example is I have the Clinique, I forget what it's called, but I, I can put the name on the screen. It's lightweight like this, but it has that bit of a silicone into it. So it sort of, lays over some of that texture and over some of those like dry spots a little bit better it sort of smooths over them whereas this will just like stick right into there so for that reason well, thank you also again if you're interested in it the price point is pretty good it's like seven or eight dollars so there's that so anyway i don't know the totals of my empties here but i will put um the totals of the empties the products that i used um i don't know which side i'll figure out which side it goes on it's always hard because it's like I should do it in the reverse order. I think the things I buy should go on this side and the things I say goodbye to go on this side. So we'll see. So yeah, I didn't have any declutters and I didn't have any like extra items in my empties. So everything counts towards the empties. For any of these little guys, if I can't figure out what the price is of like a mini, I usually just put like a dollar. So like any like the little uh, fragrance samples, I just put them like a dollar. It's probably slightly undervaluing it, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Anyway, apologies, this video is going to be way too long. I feel very talkative today. It's probably because I don't see people on a day-to-day -day basis, so I'm extra chatty. If you like this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.